working along the United States-Mexico border, Fighting Fire, is the third in a series for land management employees. In it, you'll hear experienced firefighters talking about the special problems they face when conducting prescribed burns or fighting wildfires near the border. We get a lot of people from the Northwest and the East that come help us. And uh, one of the things we tell them right off the bat is basically almost like a 19th uh, watch out situation is the border issue. The big thing here is fighting fire here is different than anywhere else in the world. The interesting part about working here is bringing new people in and having them realize for the first time that you're not just fighting fire here anymore, you're dealing with human elements within your fire perimeters or going through your fire perimeters during the time you're suppressing a fire or you're going to find dope somewhere out on your fire line and you're going to have to deal with that. There's people, there's smuggling going on, there's vehicle chases up and down these rough roads, there's people with guns, there's uh, a lot of remote country and you know it's been compared to the old west that things are going on out here and it's you know people don't believe it and it, it really is true that you know there's a lot of activity, illegal activity and there's you know there's law enforcement people and there's bad guys and you know there's things that do happen out here. This module has two parts. In part one, impacts on firefighters. Firefighters talk about how they find illegal immigrants, drug loads, and drug smugglers on fires, and how some immigrants and smugglers actually cause fires. In part two, special precautions when fighting fire. Firefighters explain the actions they take to maintain their safety and the safety of others in this area. This module cannot possibly address all the issues that will come up while fighting fire along the border. Therefore, take time on your unit to discuss the current border situation and ways to keep yourself safe. Now, let's turn to part one. 